Hi everyone, welcome to Lola's Frugal Life. This is episode number 72, and today we're gonna be talking about creating a cleaning routine. So please stick around for a few quick words from our sponsor and we'll get right into today's episode. Okay everyone, so today we're gonna be talking about creating a cleaning routine, but two things before we get into that. First, I wanna thank whoever it was that left me a five-star review with a cute little really, really nice write-up um, on Apple Podcast. It made my morning. I was so excited to see it, and I thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, so that's first. Second is today's Monday when I'm putting this out. And like always on my Monday episodes, I always give a frugal tip of the week. So this week, this is kind of a no-brainer. This is talked about all the time, um, but I still thought it was worth sharing. Um, if you haven't already, consider cutting your cable, satellite, whatever big TV service you're paying for. Um, for some people, you know, depending on how much you watch certain things, this might be something that you're just not willing to do. But if you're like us and you just kind of watch TV for entertainment, but you're not like hooked on very specific certain shows or anything like that, um, we wound up cutting it not even really intentionally. We had one of those promos. This is years ago. Um, it was one of those like three, I don't know, like a triple play, they call it, where you would get like your phone and your um, cable and your uh, internet service all combined. And I got a letter from the cable company saying that um, the promotion was about to expire like the following month or whatever. So I called them up and I said, I just wanted to find out um, what my new bill is going to be next month when the promotion expires and um, you know, see if there's any new offers available. So the guy's like, oh no, it's too early to tell you that. I'm like, what do you mean it's too early to tell me that? Like, you can't tell me now what I'm going to pay next month. Like, <laughs> how is that even possible? So I said, um, okay, well, I just want to cancel then. And I kind of thought they'd come back with some kind of an offer to get me to stay. And they didn't. <laughs> they just canceled it. So I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> so um, we canceled the cable and um, we were like, you know what, big deal. We'll go, I just moved forward with it. I'm like, big deal. It's not like if we want it back, they're not gonna jump right on turning it back on for us. So um, we decided to cancel it and we never went back. We re didn't even really miss it. I mean, we do have Netflix. We have um, Disney Plus, which I actually only just have right now because it's um, free through my cell phone provider, um, for, through Verizon, but um I'm not sure if we're going to keep that or not. Either way, um, we have YouTube. Like, we have a smart TV, so we watch YouTube all the time on our TV. That's probably, we probably, we definitely use that more, actually, than we even use Netflix or Disney+. Plus. But my kids really like those services. So anyway, to make a long story short, we canceled it unintentionally, really. Like, didn't have plans of doing it and have lived without it for many years. So if you haven't already, it's definitely a frugal tip somewhere you could take a look to see. Uh, about saving usually some pretty big dollars each month. So that's that. All right, so let's talk about creating a cleaning routine. So if you've looked on the internet um, for cleaning routines, there's so many different methods um, of ways to clean your home. And um, so what when it comes to cleaning your, when it comes to your cleaning routine, what I found for me is that there's really no right way. I am constantly changing my cleaning routine tweaking this, tweaking that, um, you know, so the, the right cleaning routine for you is what works for you. It, it's not, everyone's life is different. And just because someone's routine, like for example, me, I do a half hour of cleaning every morning at 4.30 because that's when I, I'm a morning person and I love to get something done um, in the morning before work. But I struggle with my cleaning that has to be done on the weekend because I don't have that time structure and it's just how I am. So everyone, everyone is different. So you really have to try and make something that works for you. I'm always looking for new ideas, always trying to find better ways um, to get things done, to build things into my routine to get things done that I don't really like to do. There's certain chores that just come so easy to me and then there's others that I just look at my, my list and I'm just like, uh, I do not want to do that. But I'm always, always working at it. So 
Um, you know, the reason it's, it's important to have a cleaning routine is because it definitely does save you time. Like if you wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, today's bathroom cleaning day, you're just going to go and clean the bathroom. You're not going to sit around and think like, wow, there's a lot of stuff to do. What should I do today? Should I do this? Should I do that? Like that planning time is taking time. It might not be that much, but it could be, you know, if you add it up over the week, if you're spending 10, 15 minutes a day, just kind of sitting around thinking what you're going to do, that could add up to a lot of time. So um, it definitely saves time because you could just jump right in. If you know this is what I do today and you just jump right in and get it done. Um, it also helps eliminate procrastination because when you make it a routine, um, like say if you make it a routine to do the dishes each night, as soon as dinner's done, it becomes automatic. You don't like think about, you don't like um, procrastinate because you're just like, okay, dinner's done, dishes get done. It, you, you have to work on building that habit, but once you have the habit, it's not likely going to be something that you're going to procrastinate on. You'll just, you'll just get it done. And also... Um, another reason why it's important to have a cleaning routine is because it helps keep your house clean. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of obvious, but you know, having a daily um, or weekly cleaning routine, it it significantly helps you maintain your home because you're getting little things done without really thinking about it too much, without putting too much thought in. So the routine part of it is what's the most important. It's it's developing these little habits. Um, throughout your day and throughout your week that help keep your home clean. So when, you, um, when you're going to create your own cleaning routine, you want to think about like what are the things that you want to get done daily, weekly, monthly, and occasionally. Um, I find it easiest to kind of write those all out on a list and then um, at first at least, all of them on a list at first. Once I, was, once I established my daily and weekly items, um, I say daily and weekly. I don't mean things that I do um, once a week, but I have certain things that I do daily. Um, okay, I have like a half hour cleaning slot that I do Monday through Friday before work. Um, but every one of those days is a different day. But I know like that Monday is my main bathroom. Tuesday is my downstairs bathroom. Like I know what I have to do each day. So once I got in the routine, I know what day, like Wednesday, I'm like, okay, I clean the fridge today. I, I don't have to keep it written down anymore because it just became a habit and um, I know what I have to do. But, um, you know, for other things like that, that are monthly or occasionally, I definitely think um, I would definitely keep them on a list. I use the Fly Lady app because I follow her, I generally follow her zone cleaning. I really like the idea of focusing on one part of my house each week for any like the more deep cleaning stuff not just my my regular house maintenance um daily weekly type stuff so i use that for my monthly slash occasional items and um you know so i'm not going to go into the fly lady method in detail right now but i do you know you can look it up and i have an episode every week on what zone we're working on and things like that so um but anyway yeah so i suggest having a list because it depends on the type of person you are, but for me, I need a list because I feel overwhelmed. I feel like I'm forgetting something if I don't have something there saying these are the things I need to work on. That's just how I am. And just like I said, lots of people are different. There's people that just don't have any list and they just walk around their home and they know what needs to be done and they do it. But unfortunately, that's just not me. So, um, so once you have your list, you want to plan when you're going to do each of the items on your list. Um, like for your daily routine, what time of day works best for you? So like I said, I find it um, easiest for me when I have a specific time that I'm going to do certain things that's blocked out. Um, because if I don't have a certain time, like on the weekends, I try to set myself a certain time, but I don't have a deadline like I do during the week where I have to get to work, so I have to get it done by a certain time. When I kind of have that open-ended ended time frame, I find that I tend to procrastinate. So um, it's probably a good idea for some people um, to set a certain day of time um, and kind of limit yourself so you know you have to get it done within this time frame. Um, and you want to make sure that you have time in your schedule um, to do what you said you're going to do. Like don't put more on your schedule than you can handle. If you're coming home, cooking dinner, taking your kid to gymnastics, um, getting back and maybe you have to, I don't know, check some emails or pay bills or whatever, 
don't try and fit in a half hour cleaning slot that's not there because then you're just going to feel bad that you didn't get it done. So really try and look at your day and try and find somewhere that you can actually definitely realistically fit in um, this cleaning time, however you're going to do it. If it's going to be like an all day every Saturday or if you're going to do a little bit each day, um, whatever works with your schedule, but make sure you put it in um, a slot that's realistic for you. Um, also try and pick a time that you know that there's not usually something else that's going to be going on. So that's why I do the early mornings. Like I know there's never going to be anything happening at 4.30 in the morning um, that's going to interrupt my cleaning. So it gets done every single day no matter what. You might be more of a night person, so you, you might want to pick a time that's like late at night um, after dinner or whatever when there's not really usually anything going on. Um, or if you have a more flexible schedule, you know, whatever, whatever works for you. It's, it's just about finding a time that you can definitely dedicate to getting your cleaning done so that you can work on building your routine. Um, so like I said, daily routines don't have to consist of the same items every day. It's just kind of about having that time slot, which is like, for me, the time slot is the daily routine. It's not doing the same thing. It's that at 4.30, I do my half hour cleaning and I know what thing I'm working on each day that week. Um, but then of course there are other things like such as washing dishes and things like that that are consistent each day. So it just depends on the type of task and if you're doing the same thing every day or if it's a rotation. Um, so that's that. Um, oh yeah, consider your other life priorities and determine what can be skipped if needed. So like for example, each Saturday I have a morning routine that I follow. So the first three items on the list are clean guinea pig cage, water plants, and change water in the fishbowl. So after those items, I have several other items in the list that include things like cleaning, the, um, changing the bed sheets, sweeping the kitchen floor, and doing um, some of my zone cleaning, which is the deep cleaning, like I said, with the fly lady system. Um, so the reason I point out the first three items on the list being the guinea pig cage, watering the plants, and changing the water is because those three items are my priorities on my, my weekly um, cleaning list. That's what I do on the weekend. Those are the things that I do every Saturday or Sunday. So the reason I point that out is because those are my priorities. So I've identified those three things have to get done no matter what. Like I have to clean our guinea pig cage. I have to water the plants and I have to change my fish's water. Like those are my non-negotiables like a lot of people refer to. Um, so those have to be done. So I have those listed first. I try and always get those other things done every week too. Like I want to, that's my goal. But you know, sometimes um, things go on in, on the weekend. You know, maybe it's a beautiful day out and I wanna take the kids to the beach or maybe there's a family party or like who knows what could be going on on the weekend. So if I need to, um, you know, skip one of those other items or sometimes skip all of them because there's just something really big going on and I just don't have the time, I allow myself um, to say, okay, I got my, my priorities done. All the living things, the guinea pigs, the plants, the fish water, they've all been taken care of. Yeah, I, I know I need to sweep the kitchen floor. I know I need to change these bed sheets, but we're not going to die if that doesn't happen this week. Um, so I'm not saying to skip part of your routine on a regular basis. I'm just saying that if you have competing priorities, on a certain day to give yourself flexibility in your cleaning routine to know what things you can occasionally skip if you need to um, so that you can um, switch your priorities you know when things are going on and not stress yourself out or feel bad that you didn't fully complete your cleaning routine um, another idea is that you can also rotate your cleaning schedule like if you find that it's just a very busy time in your life and you're not being able to fully accomplish that list that you've assigned for yourself in the time slot given, um, you can rotate. Like say, um, you know, if you have, I don't know, like say if you're gonna do like zone cleaning and you wanna do, um, I don't know, like sweep them off the floor. Um, not that that would be zone cleaning, that's not a good example. But say if you have to like, mop your kitchen floor, mop your family room floor, mop your living room floor, whatever. And say you start out with the kitchen floor every time. 
and every time you run out of time. So every time you mop, you're only getting the kitchen floor mopped. Well, do a rotation every time you mop. One day start with the living room, one day start with the kitchen, one day start with the family room. That way, if you're not able to complete your whole routine that day, because if something else going on, at least you're still hitting the other items periodically. So you're not like always only mopping the kitchen and the other rooms never get done. So you could always think about some type of, um, that's a very basic example, but you could always think of maybe creating some type of rotation of your list so that if you find you're running out of time, at least you're um, hitting the things periodically. So, you know, and everybody's priorities are gonna be different. Um, Some people, their level of clean is much different than others. And it's all about finding what works for you. Um, I tend to be on the more um, little bit lax side. Like I, not that I don't, I'm always cleaning. Like I'm always struggling and trying to keep up with cleaning. I want everything to be nice. But I am a little bit more lax where I'm like, If we have something fun we could do for the family, I'm not going to, you know, go crazy because I didn't dust the ceiling fan this week and I can see a layer of dust on it. I'm like, you know, I'm like, oh, I wish I could have got to that, but I'd rather go out and have like a fun day with the family um, than stress over that. Um, I used to stress over those things that I've gotten much better at saying, you know what, it'll get done when it gets done. And, um, And that's it. So anyway... Um, So as you're setting up your routine, though, just start small. Um, If you don't have any cleaning routine in place yet, it's probably going to take you some time to find what works best for you. So just keep trying out things, and um, you'll see if you keep at it, you will definitely develop something that works for you, and it'll evolve to what works for your life. Um, It might not be always be perfect. Like I said, I'm still constantly always trying to find different ways to um, make it work better for me, um, especially on those things that I struggle with that I don't really like to do. So I'm always trying to find like the best time slot or the best way to do them to make it more likely that I'll get them done. Um, So one of those things is mopping the floor. I don't know why, I just don't like mopping the floor. It's kind of awkward, you have to move things and I don't know, it's just a pain in the neck. Um, So I started doing that on one of my uh, morning time slots now so that I used to have it on the weekend and I'd always put it last and then sometimes I'd never get to it. And so I have that as an actual defined weekend time slot now. So there's no avoiding it. Thursday morning, I mop. That's in my half hour time slot in the morning. So things like that, just making changes and rotating things into places and times um, when you think you'll likely do them just to kind of get yourself um, better at it, but it, it just takes time and practice. But I definitely, definitely think, um, unless you're, um, a certain type of person that's just super, um, I don't even know what you call it. It's not necessarily organized. It's just the mindset, I guess, when you can just look around and see what needs to be done and you just do it. But if you're not that kind of person, um, I definitely recommend putting some routines in your place, in place for yourself because it really, really helps. So that's it for today. Um, Thank you so much again to whoever that person was who left me the review on Apple Podcasts. You made my morning. It was super exciting to see, and it was so, so nice. Um, Anyway, anyone else who'd like to reach out to me with any episode suggestions or feedback on any of the episodes if you've listened to, um, you can reach me through my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Lola's Frugal Life. That's all one word with no apostrophe. Um, You can send a message there through Messenger, or you can um, like the page just to see what gets posted there. And there's also a link there to our private listeners group, which I'd really love to have you join. Um, You can also go directly to the listener group, um, which is facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life and submit a request to join there. I pretty much check the page every day so um, most likely I will I will approve you either that day or the very next and I'd really love to have you there we have some nice conversations there about um, uh, topics that are discussed on the show and uh, it's just a nice group of people so thanks again for listening Um, thank you so much I hope you have a really awesome day